Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for another Ghost Recon Wildlands video. So today's video, we're going to be kind of talking about, you know, the lack of updates from Ghost Recon Wildlands from Ubisoft, you know, kind of centering around the um, Ghost War PvP that we're supposed to be getting soon. Uh, according to the trailer, the original trailer, we were supposed to get this um, a beta in the summer and the actual full release is going to come out in the fall and we're supposed to get a lot more details. So I'm going to play a quick clip from the original reveal trailer real quick and then we're going to talk about it after the fact. Check out GhostRecon.com for more information on Ghost War, including more intel on the classes in the coming weeks. We're also beginning a series of beta tests to balance the game, so stay tuned. So, that was basically the, the lead developer for the PvP mode, or the guy that they put in front of the camera for it, saying that, you know, in the upcoming weeks we're supposed to get a lot more information on the ins and the outs of what PvP is going to be, and this trailer was released, I believe it was almost a month ago. So, and then there was an actual closed beta. Um, I did not sign an NDA, so I can talk about this or whatever, but there was a closed beta that uh, there was a lot of stuff in the game that a lot of the big YouTubers and stuff got to got to do or whatever, but um, I actually did not have a chance to take part in this, so I'm kind of waiting for the open beta. We did get a little bit of a new update on the actual Ubisoft website stating that the beta is supposed to come out later this summer. It was, it was a new post, but it didn't give us any new information on when PvP is actually going to be coming and when the open beta is going to be coming. So I believe it's September 22nd is the official last day of summer um correct me if i'm wrong or september sometime in september you know i'm, I'm not 100 sure i didn't look it up before i made this video but that gives us roughly about a little over a month from now left of summer so we should be seeing some sort of an open pvp beta between now and then and according to what they said in the actual trailer was the fact that we were going to get the full release of pvp in the fall which really, you know, it could be any time, you know, October, very, very late September, October, November. And me personally, you know, I know there's a lot of you guys out there that are Tom Clancy, you know, hard Tom Clancy fans. You only play Tom Clancy games. You're tactical shooter guys. Me personally, I like all shooters. You know, I love playing Call of Duty as much as I love playing Ghost Recon Wildlands. I do not want to compare them whatsoever because they are two completely different games. And I don't want to get into that. But being the fact that the Call of Duty World War II beta is going to be coming out later this month and then the Xbox beta is also going to be coming out the very 1st of September and I'm going to be super hyped for Call of Duty. You know, I've always been hyped for Call of Duty, especially being the fact that we're basing it around World War II. We're going back to the roots of Call of Duty and then the actual full release of Call of Duty comes out in November, early November. So and then also with you combine that with Destiny 2 and, you know, a lot of a lot of shooter games, you know, I like shooter games, but there's just so much other things out there and we're going to be over six months after the the launch of Ghost Recon Wildlands and we still have not got PvP you know honestly I understand the fact that you know PvP takes a while to make but this this is almost like I said originally like I've said this in multiple videos and stuff it almost seems like it's an afterthought you know I understand uh, from all the footage that we've seen so far they are building it around the fact that they want to kind of make it like a more open version of Rainbow Six Siege because Rainbow Six Siege has done very very well you know it, at, the, at the beginning of the game it did not do so hot but it really made a comeback and it's one of the more popular shooters out there right now esports wise and just for fun there's a lot of people that play Rainbow Six Siege even a lot of the big Call of Duty YouTubers and some of the Ghost Recon YouTubers you know go over and play Rainbow Six Siege religiously because it's a really good game I understand that they're trying to make this PvP into something like that and have another game out there that you know is might be able to extend the whole you know the whole Ubisoft train that they got going on right now with these shooters but being the fact that we're over six months post launch and we still do not have a PvP we don't have a whole lot of information on it and realistically uh, this is 100% my opinion guys and you guys could you know argue the fact or whatever but it's too little too late you know it might not be too little but it's too late you know a lot of the fan base has already left um, personally I will be the first one to tell you guys if um, Ghost Recon Wildlands PvP the full release happens after the release of Call of Duty World War 2 so that would be November 3rd if PvP for Ghost Recon Wildlands comes out after November 3rd I'm probably not going to cover it that much because realistically, I'm going to be tied up in Call of Duty World War II. You know, I might play a little bit of Ghost Recon Wildlands PvP. I might play with some subscribers and stuff like that because don't get me wrong, I had a blast playing this game. I, it's it's literally one of the, a lot of fun. It's it's uh, I've had so much fun on this game, and we don't have PvP. You know, don't get me wrong, PvP looks really good. It should be a lot of fun, but you know, it's just I don't understand. They said that this game has been in development for five years, and I don't want to get on this whole rant, this whole tangent or whatever, talking about this game, but 
the game has been out, you know, it's been in development for five years. Why why are we waiting six six plus months after launch before we get a PvP? You know, it, like I said, it almost feels like kind of like it was an afterthought, you know. But, you know, that's just my opinion. But uh, hopefully here soon we will actually get some hard details, some actual intel, you know, surrounding what PvP is going to be. What all other things, you know, different game modes. Hopefully there's a little bit more than just the team deathmatch. Obviously they did state that there is going to be a no respawn mode, which is probably what I am going to predominantly play. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, who's, you know, hopefully soon we will hear some updates and stuff. Let me know down in the comments on how you guys feel about this, what you guys want to see in PvP, and what your thoughts are about not having any updates yet. But that is pretty much all for the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications if you are new so you do not miss any of my uploads. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the video, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.